What's going on folks? My name is Josh and I am the Outdoor Dude. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about EDC and I'm going to be doing a pocket dump for you, so stick around. What's going on folks? It's good to be back. I've had another recent surgery, so I've got stitches in my back. This is why we're doing a video like this rather than going outside. EDC, or otherwise known as Everyday Carrier, the specific items that you will carry on your person every day. It's those items that you would never leave home without, and if you did, you would just feel naked. Some in the community would like to extend the idea of the EDC to gear they may take camping, gear they may carry in their car, or small kits that they might carry in a backpack with them, or a side satchel or something of that nature. In an effort to not confuse anybody, I will leave that for a separate video. So in short, EDC is a dedication or a practice to always carry certain items on your person every single day. For the average person, this may include their keys, their wallet, and their phone. But for those of us in the EDC community who follow the philosophy of preparedness, we like to be ready for anything that the day can throw at us. And whatever piece of gear you might be carrying, you want to be sure that it fits you and the day-to-day -day occurrences that happen in your life. Nobody else can decide that for you, but you. But without wasting any more time, let's get to it. All right, folks, now let's get into it. This is my EDC pocket dump for 2017. This may change soon, and in which case I'll do another video. I'm a little bit old school on a couple items, and I will update in the future. For starters, I have a cheap Android phone. Nothing special about it. Does what most phones do. Arguably, we cannot live without our phones these days. So, of course, I have a phone on me. This is a budget EDC, and Lord, let me tell you, I was on one strict budget putting this thing together. It took me over the course of two or three years. Me and the wife were planning our wedding at the time, and we were also saving up money to move. And how things get, you get one piece of gear at a time here and there, and that's what you get. Now, for all the moments when you don't have your phone on you and you can't tell time, or the battery could die, obviously. So, I, I carry a watch. And I have one of the Casio Tough Solars. Couldn't afford the full-on G-Shock at the time, but that's okay. This is a good watch. I fish all the time. I'm out in the wilderness all the time. And I'm working out in the heat, so I, often I don't have my phone. Don't want to get it all wet with sweat. But it's nice to have a good watch that can handle the elements and, you know, be able to tell time when you need it to. It's solar. So this thing won't die on me. My wallet. Good old leather slash Cordura real tree. Got it at a sporting goods store up here in upstate New York, Herb Phillipson's. So I'm a little old timey when it comes to my wallet, and I've been thinking about updating to a newer, more techy, lower profile setup. But for now, it is what it is. Holds my cards, it holds my money, it holds my ID, does its job. Moving on to my paracord bracelet. I used to wear one of these things off and on, and then I found myself in a situation where I was fishing with a buddy out on a canoe, and we, uh, we didn't have an anchor or an anchor rope. And I was able to unravel one of these suckers for eight feet of rope and we found a hunk of a cinder block on the bottom of you know the river. We were able to pull it up, tie off, and use that as our anchor for the day. It was unbelievably useful for the price. Not a survival situation, but still came in handy. Really awesome. This is just a basic cheapo one. Nothing to it, no flint strikers, no fishing kit, just has a whistle. Next up is my wedding ring. Because I lose things so often, we didn't spend a lot of money on my wedding ring. Stainless steel, real cheap, does its job. This is the one I always wear, and I keep this with me for when I'm working. I've got a nice silicone ring, so I don't hurt my fingers. Next up is my Leatherman Style CS. Got this as a gift for Christmas from one of my brothers. This little keychain guy, This I don't know if it's supposed to be, but I've used that as a bottle opener. I've opened some beers with that. I use this most often while I'm fishing. And I leave that just hanging off these carabiners, hanging off my belt loop, or the D-ring on my 511 tack pants. And I have easy access to awesome, very sharp scissors, spring-loaded, a little gunked up right now. i got to clean them a little bit, but these, these are awesome. Worth every penny. Has a small knife on it with a flat grind. Full flat grind, actually. Not bad. Probably 420 stainless. It has a file slash flat head screwdriver. Small one. Oh yeah, also. Has little tweezers that come out of there. It 
So yeah, this thing is awesome. Pulled out some splinters with it. I've uh, obviously used it a ton for fishing line. It's worth, worth its weight in gold. Love this. Next up is my flashlight. It's the Bushnell Tracker T150L. It's a 150 lumens. It's uh, it's really bright. It's got a red and it's like a bluish kind of purpley light. This is blood tracker mode. It calls they call it single click. You got to cycle through each one. But that was a that was a little bit of a budget purchase. But I probably could have got a, a better light for a better price on Amazon. But it was a I needed a light, my other one broke, grabbed it at Walmart when my buddy stopped there for some fishing bait. I used to carry this other Bushnell 100 lumen pen light. Real good light, but I broke the, uh, the clip off of it. I wonder if I can get a clip off from Bushnell, but, yep. Flashlights are always great to carry. Once you start carrying a flashlight, you'll wonder how you ever live life without one. Next up, we're going to skip over to the, the Schrade SCHF 55 Frontier Griffin Design. And this is a beautiful workhorse of a knife. As you can see, I've already used it quite a bit, and it is really holding up strong. This came with a multi-carried option, glass-filled nylon sheath with a rubber belt loop. Fits in like Kydex. Wobbles a little bit, but it doesn't come out. It's got a little bit of a thumb ramp right here, which works really nice in the opening the knife. Snaps in perfect. And it's a multi-carried option, so you can flip this over completely and have it ride a little bit higher. I like to mind riding a little bit lower. It has the grivery handles, and it is a 1095 high carbon steel. And like I said, I find myself in the field often using that. And if I had to, had to, 1095 carbon steel can be sharpened on a rock or anything like that. Often I have a pretty crude Bear Grylls knife sharpener with me in my backpack. So I can always sharpen my knife, not on a rock. <laughs> and next up is the Kershaw Hotwire. I started carrying this because I used to carry a, a companion knife to this for smaller cutting tasks where this knife was a little bit overkill. I wanted a much lighter knife and I was walking around Walmart wasting time while the wife was shopping and I came across this. This is the Kershaw Hot Wire. It was nine bucks and some change. Can't expect it to be super high grade steel for that price, but um, it does what I need it to do. Again, I have such a workhorse of a knife for my everyday carry. I don't need a really, really, really top-notch knife as my companion knife. This is a 3CR13 MOV steel. It's a Chinese crap stainless steel that is equivalent to the US 420 J2. Um, again, you can't expect it to do much, but it holds an edge fairly well for with the things that I use it for basic cutting tasks, cutting paracord, paper, cardboard, you know, silly things that I don't need this for. But um, it is, it's held up well. It's done good gutting fish. It's done really good chopping up fish for bait. For what it is, I really do like it. It has an assisted opening and no blade play. And that's it, folks. That's my EDC. Sometimes I switch out this knife. I will carry the Kershaw Shuffle, which is not an assisted opening, but it's got that finger choil there for a big hand like mine. It has ambidextrous pocket clips. It has the, maybe use that as a glass breaker, I don't know. It has a flathead kind of look to it. Bottle opener, which works. And this one is the 8 CR13 MOV. So it's a little bit of a better steel than that one, but still not the greatest. All right, folks, so that's my EDC kit. Um, hopefully you liked the video. Uh, I'm gonna be adding a firearm to this kit, I hope, in the future. I gotta wait a certain period of time till I'm a permanent resident of this county. 
being that I just moved here. And then I'm going to be applying for my concealed carry permit. That's what they give you here in upstate New York. Um, it's kind of tough, so wish me luck, guys. And let me know in the comments what you guys like to carry, what you liked about my kit, what you didn't like about my kit. Hopefully we can uh, get some good ideas off of each other. This is where I'm going to end the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more.